all right guys welcome back to the channel today i'm working on a uh, 99 international with the dt 466 customer complains that the block heater doesn't work they'll plug it in i guess they've they've hit it with a, a temp gun nothing has changed it'll be an overnight and hard start in the morning everything like that um so i'm just gonna be changing out the block heater you have to drain it down i don't know if you can see block heater is located back there it's that cord right there that is your block heater so this is a pretty easy one and, and unlike today's trucks where all this is filled with some freaking stupid emission crap this should be fairly easy cords just routed right along the frame rail right there to the front <clears throat> but then on further inspection look at these batteries just leaking acid so when you fully kill batteries they will freeze and then crack and this is what you'll what you'll end up with so I'm also going to be replacing some batteries none, none too crazy it should be a pretty light and easy job um yeah you guys just stick around see how it goes all right so the first thing i'm going to do is disconnect and remove these batteries i want to do that before i head to the dealership just because they'll charge a uh what's called a core charge so i think each one of these is worth i don't know 30 40 bucks so if i if i went and got the batteries and then brought them in then i would i would have i don't know 120 dollars in credit that i'd be waiting to get on my card if i bring it now they'll they'll take it off the receipt when i buy the or they'll take it off the charge when i buy the new battery so i just don't i don't like sitting waiting around for my money so that's why i'm going to uh, remove these first all right batteries are in all connected time to get started on the block heater So I showed it to you guys earlier. This is what a block heater just looks like out and about. All it is, just a resistor. Current flows through. This resistor heats dissipated into the coolant and that's what keeps your block warm when you got it plugged in. Um, yeah. That's it. All right, so first step in uh, in doing before you remove the uh, block heater, you're going to want to drain the coolant. So, over here on the passenger side on a DT466, you can see this unit right here, that's your oil cooler. <clears throat> right up here that bolt right in front of the of this oil filter you can pop that off normally there will be a little pet cot that you can drain but for some reason this one doesn't have it but you can pull that bolt drain your coolant down now the reason i like to drain the the coolant in the block is that's where we're doing the job at so it makes sense to do it there one but then if you drain the coolant in the in the radiator instead like right here you can end up just draining that down and it, and it might not always drain completely out of the block and, and then vice versa. So I'm working on the block. I'd rather drain the coolant from, from the block. That way I know it actually gets drained out. But catch up. Just like that, you are draining your coolant. Somebody has switched this truck over to Red Cool, and I, I highly doubt that it came with that, but it won't do any harm. All right, guys, welcome back onto the block heater. I'm going to be using a 530 seconds a little key here to get that out. That's what it takes. Um, hopefully, it's the same as this guy. Yeah, 530 seconds with an extension and then it should just uh, come right on out, let you guys know. 
All right, guys, here is the old block heater removed. That is where the block heater sits in that little, yeah, little orifice right there. That is where the block heater sits. <clears throat> just in the side of the block, it's just goes in. You screw that little nut. It squishes this little O-ring and then then seals it. So. All right, guys. New new block heater is in back here. New wiring is in. I'm just gonna zip tie it up a bit. Zip tie it. But do that. Fill it up with coolant, and, and this job's done. Thanks for hanging out, guys.